We've been talking a lot about this free speech case against the Biden administration for uh, putting influence on, uh, more than influence, uh, threats, intimidation, uh, coercion on social media companies around COVID and around a variety of other issues going back and including the uh, Hunter Biden laptop. Uh, but, but a bunch of different uh, uh, issues, and, and we saw a lower court rule that the Biden administration probably uh, violated the First Amendment and therefore put an injunction uh, limiting limiting um, uh, any uh, cooperation and uh, any meetings between uh, the, the Biden administration and uh, uh, the social media companies. The, uh, the, this is an injunction. It's not a final ruling. The, court, the trial hasn't happened yet. And then a, a district court just last week uh, out of New Orleans, the fifth U.S. district court, uh, basically affirmed that decision, changed it a little bit, loosened up some of the restrictions on some of the agencies, but basically affirmed this idea that the Biden administration was limited in its capacity to uh, talk to uh, social media companies. Anyway, yesterday, um, the Supreme Court, basically Alito, Justice Alito, um, who um, uh, reviewed this, uh, the, basically the Biden administration appealed to the Supreme Court, asking for more time before it could fully appeal to the Supreme Court, and asking uh, the Supreme Court to, um, ex to uh, basically stop the injunction from going into effect and giving the uh, Justice Department enough time to appeal the Fifth Circuit Court's ruling in front of the Supreme Court. Anyway, Alito, yes, they granted that appeal to the Biden administration. Basically, um, the limitations on the Biden administration, as far as I can understand from what I've read, um, have been uh, eliminated until September 22nd, which is in a week. Uh, by September 22nd, uh, the uh, Biden administration has to make an argument before uh, the Supreme Court uh, has to file, basically, uh, an, an appeal, uh, and why this is an emergency and why it's national security and why all of this uh, to the Supreme Court for the court to make a decision. Uh, I think uh, I think the the uh, the uh, um, the people suing which uh, the, the attorney general of a couple of states, of uh, a few states uh, 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 that are suing the Biden administration, they, are, uh, they, have, uh, they will also be, uh, uh, you know, uh, considering this. Uh, let's say the Justice Department has asked the Supreme Court to, to stay the order until uh, October 13th. He has uh, uh, stayed the order of the lower courts until September 22nd, waiting for the Justice Department to make the argument for why it should be moved all the way to October 13th. So why, you know, but, but anyway, Alito uh, has basically given the Biden administration a little bit of breathing room here, unfortunately. Uh, but we will see, this is not an actual ruling. This is just kind of, okay, I'm giving you time to appeal. I'm giving you time to, uh, uh, to, to uh, it's gonna be interesting, this, co this case, both the injunction and the final case, I'm sure will go to the Supreme Court. It's going to be a landmark, I think, free speech decision. It's, it's one to watch. It's why I keep updating you on, because I think it's so crucial. It, it is going to be really, really, really important that the Supreme Court, or all the courts, but the Supreme Court ultimately, makes it clear and objective that the government, run by Democrats, Republicans, or whatever, that the government cannot interfere with content produced and posted by social media or by regular media companies. The government can't pressure, can't threaten, can't use any form of suggested or real coercion, and that any such suggestion, any such coercion, is a violation of free speech, is a violation of the First Amendment. It's not a violation of the First Amendment, again, by the social media company. It is a violation of the First Amendment by the government, restricting the free speech of social media. Social media can decide what to post and what not to post. That's its First Amendment right. 
the government telling it it cannot make those kind of decisions is a violation of their rights. That's going to be crucial and key, uh, you know, to the evolution of, of, of social media and, and to a, a better understanding of what free speech actually means in this country and hopefully silence all the people who want to increase regulation on social media as a way uh, to address these issues rather than recognizing their private property rights and their, free, their own free speech rights. Um, now, uh, there are, of course, cases which are super rare and super unusual, and you would have to really make a case that they're justified, where it's national security or it's, um, it's what do you call it, uh, 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 incitement for violence, where the government does have a role. But those are super rare, super unusual. Right? Super rare and super unusual.